In today's video, we're looking primarily at the sward, the impact of grazing and trampling that the cattle have on this piece of ground. This area was grazed a few days ago and we can see evidence of trampling and evidence of eating. And this now will be rested and it won't be grazed for maybe months. And building that rest in is the key part of mob grazing for us. And it means that all of this ground here has got time to recover from the impact of the cattle, but also the animals that live here have a home. So this is basically kind of left for nature in between grazing periods, which is really important for us. This is an area that's been grazed um, and by not letting the cattle back onto this to regraze it, it means that the plant that's here doesn't suffer too much damage. It's stimulated to grow back, um, but it maintains nice long roots um, which contribute to soil functioning. You can see there's lots of tumps here on this ground um, and one of the reasons that we're grazing the cattle through here is to disturb this a little bit and to build up some of the soil organic matter to reduce the kind of lumpiness here. Um, so although these types of plants are really great for different habitat, you can see their tufted hair grasses give really good cover for mammals, small mammals like voles. Um, we also see amphibians living in there as well. Um, we don't want the entire hillside to look like that. So by grazing the cattle, they disturb some of that growth um, and they help to create niches that other plants can come into to build the diversity of the plant species that we find here. 